What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, aka take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy. Had that strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, awesome. All right, everybody. So real quick message here. I did make a community post earlier from what I was talking to the Lord about. And he gave me this interesting download, per se. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I got to share this because this is exactly how the enemy would try to deceive many people. So let's just start with number two from this community post that goes with this message. So the enemy would try to create major fear to the body of Christ by revealing his plans to the world. This is why God continues to tell us that it is all right. God is not the spirit of fear, nor is he the author of confusion. So just all this stuff coming, God is telling us to be calm because we will be on the right side of things. We'll be okay. You know, we won't see the bad side of judgment. And also when it comes to these crashes and all this other stuff, people start getting into fear and it's like, no, God is telling us what to do to prepare. But the enemy will take advantage of that. Number three, getting as much information on people who have investments for the wealth transfer by using those who are unaware they are listening to a deceiving spirit. Tell no one what God has told you to invest in, especially not on a public platform. God has been saying to be silent. Pay attention. So God has been telling you, tell no one what I've told you to do. And if he is allowing you to share things, it's not going to be on no public platform. He's not going to do that because the enemy and monitoring spirits are always watching. Like I'm literally watching people be so open because somebody, you know, is a man or woman of God. Stop telling people what God has you do. Because your brother and sister could very well have an opening to them. That the enemy could get to and they have knowledge of your blessing. And boom. The enemy has access to what God wants to do for you because you told the person. It ain't even just about a person telling other people. It's about the sharing of information due to the enemy breaching. But people don't think about it that way. There are people out here that don't even realize that the enemy is speaking to them. So you got to be careful what you're sharing. And this last part is the best one because this is what he gave me download wise. So number four in this community post was creating small scenarios the enemy will do that makes it look like a person's prophecy came from God regarding the markets. So an example would be a small bull run upwards due to bot manipulation. So if you didn't know, there are bots that buy and sell. People might have bots that automatically buy and sell. There are bots that take advantage control of the market to get people to do certain things. So example would be like a quick plus 67 in the markets, but then right back down. These markets are controlled by the enemy. But see, here's the thing with God. He can turn things around. Glitches, all types of stuff, things you won't see coming that the enemy is using for evil, he can turn things around for good to work out for the body. So you really got to have discernment. So he can do quick miracles, but you need to test the spirits on every word and everything you hear and see because the enemy is running rampant through people and people don't even know that there's a deceiving spirit going around telling these narratives. This is a way for the enemy to disguise his servants are servants of righteousness or disguise what he's doing through a person, which is deception, to make it seem like it's coming from God. Because, see, somebody can say, oh, the Lord told me about this coin, X, Y and Z. This is a new one. Or, yeah, this is of God. God about to use this to financially increase you. 
but it's just bots really taking advantage of a new coin or bots and any coin or market moving it up and down, up and down, right? And the person goes, see, God told me and this happened, but people missed it. Or see, God, this is what God was talking about. It could be for any market in the crypto space. So you got to be careful because it takes away the attention of false teachings that people are doing. So if you got somebody teaching about third eyes, fourth eyes, three ears, I'm sorry, I always have to crack a good one at <laughs> that garbage of a teaching because it's just ridiculous. I always have a crack a good one at that. And I know it's going to make people mad, but I don't care because those teachings are straight from hell, which we've already talked about. Reincarnation, all this other stuff or anything promoting sin or all this stuff. If you see that being done, which most people don't see because when they see the title wealth transfer, it's like all discernment goes out the window. But if you see it, you need to really pay attention to what's happening because I'm going to tell y'all something. God would never continue to give somebody an assignment that isn't doing right previously. So if you do a false teaching, God isn't going to come out and be like, Here's another assignment and a message. Remember, the secret things belong to the Lord God. And God reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets, before he does anything. Do you hear what I'm saying? Secrets. God is not going to reveal secrets to people that's mingling with the enemy and don't even realize it. He's not going to tell them certain things if the enemy's in their ear. He's going to try to what? Correct them. But see, the problem is a lot of people don't understand how God operates. They don't realize, okay, God going to stop and correct. Did he not get Jonah together when Jonah tried to run away uh, from what God told him to do? He made him sit in the belly of a great big fish for what, three days? Got them together. He didn't give him another assignment to do. He checked them. He got them together. Okay. He got them together, which is just one example throughout the entire word of God. But y'all get what I'm saying. You got to be very careful on what prophecies you're listening to, who you're listening to, where this stuff is coming from. Because the enemy can give you temporary good things as well to throw you off from what God has in store for you. Y'all got to understand that. So something could be plus 76 and people go hallelujah to Jesus, but it's bot manipulation. So it makes it look like that prophecy might have came from God. Some things can come from God, but that's why you got to test the spirits. That's why it's so dangerous because it's either a hit or a miss. You either hearing from the Lord or that person is not hearing from the Lord. Y'all get what I'm saying? It's a hit or miss if you are out here guessing and you really don't want it to be a miss. You want to take it back to God, but people are not asking God for permission. They're not taking it back to God. So they're losing money. They're getting robbed. They're getting disappointed. You've got to be careful. Because then what's going to come next is people are going to be trying to tell you something. That isn't of God on what to do with your funds. Then what? You're going to give it to the wrong ministry? You're going to give it to the ministry of the enemy? Because you don't got discernment? You've got to be careful. Because, see, God been doing glitches, 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 glitches as indicators. These bots are going to go haywire. And that's why everybody... It's having these dreams, waking up in these dreams and say, I saw this in a dream. I saw that different numbers because glitches, y'all. Everybody not going to be seeing the same stuff. It's going to be glitches. You don't see God's blessings coming. Really, you don't. He might warn you, but you're not going to see how it occurs. Everybody's trying to make sense out of stuff. Everybody's trying to look for things. Nothing that God is going to do 
in this hour you gonna see coming. So stop trying to figure it out and make it make sense. Stop trying to put these pieces together to make it make logical sense. It's not going to ever make logical sense. The Red Sea part, if they didn't see that coming. You understand? These glitches, like in the dreams, you didn't see it coming. It just, you woke up and it, you saw it. Not something you saw happening. You might have refreshed it in the dream and then you saw this one. Then it went down. You, it's not something people are going to see coming. So I hope that this word gets y'all to understand you need to test the spirits because even the enemy can come through and give you false senses of great opportunity. The enemy can make people look like they got a word from God. But if he can control something and manipulate it himself, even the enemy can have words come to pass in not such a great way. Because life and death is in the power of the tongue as well. You've got to watch it. There's a side of life and there's a side of death. God is life. And when it comes to God's words coming to life, it requires patience. It requires faith. Not the next person you see with a prophecy and coin you think about to go up. You understand? Be on alert. Peace and blessings, and I will catch y'all in the next one.